you're watching Nevada Business Chronicles. Take a journey with us to see the innovative businesses that put Nevada on the business map. Connecting you with the businesses, events, and organizations that bring innovation and prosperity to the Nevada area, please welcome your host, Mitch Burney. We're back here at Custom Truck Accessories with Caleb Parker. Thank you so much for agreeing to have us come back. Of course, we love being here. Caleb, before we get on to this magnificent truck we have behind us, the other night I ran into you at an event that Stacy Matthewson put on for Transforming Youth Recovery called Wipe the Face of Addiction. You took a pie in the face and challenged some other people. Can we show that? Yeah, let's go ahead. That was fun. I'm Caleb Parker from Custom Truck Accessories. And I'm donating $60 to wipe the face of addiction, and I'm challenging my boss, Chris Martindale, and my coworker, Danny Pedrotti. <laughs> Props for being so generous with your time and donating such a great cause. That was fantastic. <laughs> I'll always remember you did that, but I understand you want to change that challenge up a little bit. I do. I would really like to add our Carson City manager, Andy Henry, in on there. I don't want him feeling left out. You hear that? You're in, Eddie. This is why they call you custom truck accessories. How much more custom can you get? <laughs> I've never seen half of the stuff that you've done to this. Let's show them what you did. All right, so yeah, this is one of our favorite customers. He's a repeat customer, come back with several trucks for us. And uh, this I believe is gonna be his masterpiece right here. So just starting up, of course, we did a chrome bug deflector here. So that's all brand new right on there to match in with his chrome grill. What we have here is a status grill, custom done and custom powder coated. Uh, from Jeremy over at Status Grills with his USMC logo. And this is a local company? This is a local guy. So this love is heavier it. duty than a lot of the other stuff you'll see. A lot of the guys they sell online will be lighter gauge. Um, you can't get the custom powder coat, can't get your own custom emblems. That's all stuff that we can do for you. This and a local business do. supporting a local business. I love this light bar. Also right. very interesting. Yeah, so this is a Totron light bar right here. We're running an amber cover on this guy. That way he can still run it on the road. When he goes off-road, he can remove these covers and get the full range of light out oh, of these I see guys. That. They snap right off. Yeah, so they'll come right off. The bumper they're on, this is custom as well. Yeah, so this is a Fab Fours custom bumper right here. But this finish is unique. Yeah, so what he wanted to do, he wanted to offset his bumpers a little bit from the color of the truck. He wanted them to stand out a little bit more. So he went with a little bit different color for the bumper than the truck. So we got that guy custom, hammer, or custom uh, powder coated for him. So he's really, really excited about these guys here. Absolutely beautiful winch. Yeah, so we got a worn winch mounted in here as well. Um, one other thing about the bumper, it comes with these extra lights. So these are upgrades from his factory fogs and this guy here. And of course his winch so he can pull himself or anybody else out. Caleb, shut the front door. These are the most beautiful wheels I've ever seen on a dually in my life. So these are pretty impressive here. We leveled this guy out so that we could put these custom 22 inch American Force dually rims on here. So these guys are a big deal right here. We wrapped them in trail grapplers. So these 80 PSI rated tires. So they can go just about anywhere with these guys. And these things are beautiful. I have never seen the chrome rain guards like this. Those are beautiful, matches the front bug deflector. Yeah, so there's a lot of chrome accents on this truck with the handles and everything else. So we added the chrome rain guards as well to tie it all together. But let's take a look inside. Well, I can see already that we have a power step. Yeah, we did the power step by Amp Research. So those guys come down lower than any other step on the market. These lights are also custom under here, aren't they? Yeah, this guy's real particular about his lights. So we, instead of doing the standard white light, we added in ambers for him because he wanted that big rig look. Absolutely beautiful. This is also a work of art, a yeah. lit door entry. Yeah, so we did the Super Duty door sill on this guy, so that lights up whenever he opens his door. So on the inside, we also added in a front-facing camera system. That's what this is? That's what that guy is right there. So whenever he starts his vehicle, that starts record recording, so he can play back all the video and everything whenever he's driving. So everything that he sees ahead of him will be recorded on that camera system right there. Fantastic. Well, let's keep going. So actually here on the back door as well, a different style door sill. So we did two different sills for him. It's so nice in the middle of the nighttime, open up the door, you get some light, and it's also so beautiful even during the daytime. Really excellent stuff, real fun stuff. This guy's a great guy to work with. Good taste too. Yeah. Deep dish dually rims. And he, he's done both the inner and the outer. He's done both. So spared no expense on this guy right here. So you got both 22 inch deep dish rims here. Oh my so you gosh. Got your inner, you can see yourself in these guys. And on the inside, he's got that same rim reverse. 
another Fab Four custom powder coated bumper. Now you can really see the two-tone look that he was going for. What a great combination. Yeah, so he picked this color combo himself so we can offset it from the camper shell and everything else we've added here. But we also added to this bumper these extra lights for more of that big rig look and feel. I've never seen that before. You custom mounted these. This is beautiful. It looks like it was originally designed that way. Yeah, so this is continuing it on with his big rig look. We added in these extra lights right in here so we can keep doing that and a bunch more lights. This Caleb, guy loves lights. Look at these lights that you've put on here and the bumper everywhere you look. Yeah, so these guys down here underneath the bumper, we have four dually pods mounted and these put out quite a bit of light. And we got some extra round pods mounted in his steps here to give him even more light. So whenever he hits reverse, this thing lights up. It's like stadium lighting on the back of his truck right That's here. fantastic. Is that a rear facing camera as well? Yeah. So with a truck this big, you're going to want a few cameras to capture everything that's going on around you. I mean, you don't need the guys off the airplanes with it. <laughs> Just could value some cones whenever you're driving this guy. So on this one here, this camera was originally located in his tailgate. So when we, of course, added this custom shell, we removed his tailgate, we were able to relocate his camera right up here. And let's just take a second also to talk about this shell. So this right here is the Snug Top Outback. This is a very exclusive custom shell, so that gives you that fiberglass painted to match look with dual doors. And you had it painted to match. Oh yeah, we take his paint code and everything so we can get a perfect match on his paint. And looking inside here, you've done more custom truck, custom work. We have. A lot of things going on in here, so tell us what we did here. All right, so in here, you can see we've added a bed rug, which matches the headliner of his camper shell. Another point on the camper shell, these windows here, these windows and screens both slide. So if you wanted to pass something through, you slide the window, slide the screen, you can actually reach through the shell. We've also added, as you notice, it's pretty bright in here. We've added another Totron light inside. Uh, this guy uses this basically for his dog. So we've added four fans in here to help keep his dog Aww, cool. A lot of people right now <laughs> with me saying, "Oh." A little history with this guy. That toolbox is what he originally came in for. So this toolbox is carried through, through every one of his trucks, on mounted on bed slides, mounted in the beds, mounted in various locations. We've kept this toolbox, so that's a little piece of history for him. I think this is uh, truck also, number six or seven. That's also a testimonial to the fact that there's no reason to get another one. It's still good. Yeah. Just bring it along for the ride, literally. Oh yeah, so that one's carried through, so that's kind of fun to keep something that keeps moving along with each vehicle to keep the flavor of the truck. A little history with them, keeping it all wrapped up and together. I can't wait to see these lights lit up. Can we do that? Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead. I'll uh, put it in reverse. We'll get this thing all lit up for you here. Well, let's go ahead and see the lights, Caleb. All righty. Another billet polished aluminum fuel door. Of course. So Looks like I great. said, we added a bunch of chrome accents. So we put that locking fuel door on there for him too to complete the truck. And I got one more surprise for you guys. Caleb, I see a little red button here. You do. So mounted under that bumper, we've got something kind of secret and hidden for this guy right here. So every time you hit that little red button right there. Is that an ejector seat? <laughs> Sitting right through that? No, here we go. <laughs> Custom train horn. Oh my God. I think that would get me to move out of the way. That'll get you out of the way of this big rig right here. Mitch, come with me. I want to show you what we're doing to this Tacoma. I'm always so excited to see what you're doing here at Custom Truck. Tell me what we're doing to this truck. All right, so we're putting a three inch suspension lift kit on this Tacoma here. So you can see we've already got the rear block in and our rear shocks for this guy. So this block's gonna bring the back end up so that we can keep the whole truck level once we've got the front lifted. And all of that's gonna give us a clearance to fit those new tires we're gonna put on here. Now that's all so you can put these bigger wheels and tires and not scrape over bumps. Exactly, and so we don't have any rubbing issues and stuff like that. Gives well. you a whole new look too, doesn't it? It does, it'll be fun to see it when it's done. So what's Danny doing with this shock? So right here he's pulling the plate off the top of the strut because that's a factory piece we're gonna reuse in the install when we can press our new struts and put them on for the lift. So cool. 
a new kind of whole look here, the murdered out look, I guess they call it, right? Yeah. How's that? <laughs> go all black. Good? <laughs> and you know, this is a, a good choice of lift height for this. Looks good. The black wheels looks great. Somebody's going to be real happy when they pick this up. They'll be excited. They brought this in here to a stock. And so now they've got their three inch suspension lift on us on it. They got their new tires, new, new rims, totally different vehicle than when it was brought in. Stay right where you are coming up after our next guest holiday gift giving ideas from Custom Truck Accessories. In our community, there are individuals that devote their life to organizations that benefit our community. Today, we're with one of the finest examples of that. We're here with Paula Nielsen and Earl Nielsen, Executive Director and Board Chair of the Four Kids Foundation. And thank you so much for being on our show. Well, thank you for having us. If you wouldn't mind telling me a little bit about what Four Kids Foundation is and whom they serve. The Four Kids Foundation is a local nonprofit organization that provides financial assistance to children with any need when other resources are not available. Um, that means if they need medical attention and their parents can't afford it or the insurance won't cover it, or if they need glasses and the parents can't afford it. Any need a child has when there isn't another source to pay for it, the Four Kids Foundation will pay for it. Earl, how did Four Kids Foundation get its start? Well, in, in 2003, I was actually serving on a corporate board, the uh, Kids Behavioral Health Organization, and the uh, owner and director of that organization had a conference with me and a couple of other friends about each of us kept getting requests for services that we don't really provide, but could we help? And so we would call friends or we would call, you know, someone we thought might be able to assist with this and, and, and try to connect the dots for people. But, it, but there was no organization. And so finally, uh, we came up with the idea of uh, developing the Four Kids Foundation as an organization that would uh, collect some funding that we could distribute among children who fall through the cracks. I understand one of the families that the Four Kids Foundation has offered assistance for has agreed to share with us their experience. Yes, they have. Um, Maria and her daughter Lila are waiting to meet us. Mitch, I'd like to introduce you to Maria Barber. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. We've been providing financial assistance for her daughter Lila off and on for the last nine years. Wow, that's fantastic. I really appreciate you taking your time to talk with us about that today. My pleasure. First of all, thank you for the generosity of your time and your willingness to share your experience about the Four Kids Foundation with us today. Oh, my pleasure. Could you start telling us a little bit about your daughter, Lila? Sure, she's nine and a half. Uh, she's our first child and she was born um, with cerebral palsy. So her cerebellum at the bottom, the base of her brain is smaller than normal. It's not growing at a typical rate. So it impacts her physical sense, um, her cognitive. She has a little bit of a delay, maybe a, a year, year and a half delay. Um, special services at school, therapies every week, um, orthotics on her legs, special expensive treatments. And how did you first get involved with the Four Kids Foundation? Um, through a friend, uh, Lila was very little, one and a half to two years old, and she needed orthotics for her legs and they were $1,900 and our insurance was not covering them. So we didn't know what to do. We knew she needed these, and a friend introduced us to four kids. Thank, thank the Lord. Um, it really was a, a huge financial uh, burden lifted off the family. What other services over the last eight years has the Four Kids Foundation provided for Lila? Well, just recently this summer, we had the chance to do hyperbaric oxygen treatments for the entire eight weeks of summer break. Uh, we didn't know how we were going to afford it. They had a time slot for us, and it was really exciting because the the research for cere cerebral palsy on, uh, with hyperbaric oxygen treatments has been unbelievable and the changes you see. It was $8,000 for the entire treatment and four kids jumped in and helped out to, to make that possible for Lila. What I find interesting about this <coughs> is this is rather new technology and not recognized by the insurance that Lila mm -hmm. has. Correct. That anybody has, I think. Um, these, these alternative type treatments are never, never covered by insurance and the alternative type treatments are the ones that you see the most impact. What kind of response has Lila had to this treatment? Uh, her processing has sped up. She's uh, a little more mature in the way that she handles situations. Uh, it did help a little bit with her balance and recognizing where her body was in space. 
I'm certain that this has affected more than just Lila, the financial assistance that's been provided to her by the Four Kids Foundation. Correct, correct. It's helped the whole family, not only lifting that financial burden, but allowing all of us to see her flourish in ways that she never would have been able to you have possible. I understand that this financial assistance that the Four Kids Foundation has so profoundly affected your life that you actually volunteer when given the opportunity to give back. Correct, yes. Any chance I can get to give back to the Four Kids Foundation is amazing. Um, it's just my time, and they've done so much more for us than just given their time. So there's an annual wine and cheese event every year, and I was able to give back uh, some of my time and volunteer for that. Well, I want to thank you so much for, <coughs> again, the generosity of your time and your willingness to share your and Lila's story and your family's story with us. Absolutely. Anytime. What an extraordinary organization that you have created for our community. On behalf of our community, I'd like to personally thank both of you for your work. Oh. And then I'm guessing right now there are some people watching that are thinking, how can I become involved? How can I support this wonderful organization? How would they go about doing that, Paul? Well, they can contact us and donate through our website, which is www.4kidsfoundation.org. There is a way to donate any amount through that website, or they can just call me and find out um, where they can send a check, and the number is 775-741-5231. That's Paula Nielsen, Executive Director for the Four Kids Foundation, and Earl Nielsen, Board Chair. I hope you enjoyed the show. For more information on this guest, or to see this show in its entirety, visit nvbusinesschronicles.com. While you're there, you can watch all of our past shows on the Chronicles page and stay connected with us by following us on our social media. Now more from Nevada Business Chronicles. We're back at Custom Chuck Accessories with Caleb Parker, just in time for the holidays to show him some of the great gift-giving ideas here at Custom Chuck Accessories. Right, Mitch. Some people may be a little intimidated coming into a truck store trying to find someone for their loved one. We like to make it easy for you. We have all kinds of ideas, all price ranges, so you can get everything you need on your holiday shopping list. You know, I've always known you've carried these hitch plugs, but these are the coolest I've ever seen. And these are not plastic. No, we don't do any plastic hitch plugs here. We do the uh, all metal ones. So these two right here are actually made by the same guy who does our custom grills. Jeremy from Status Grills does these for us. So we can do a custom print on one, and these guys are custom powder coated. So these are custom made. We can do all sorts of designs. He cuts them on a plasma table himself, brings them to us. So if you want something completely unique, a one-off, we can get that done for you, or he's doing some designs for us as well, and you can come in and buy them. So I can get my business logo put on here. I understand you have one being done for somebody in the military, too. Yeah, we're currently working on a USMC one. We can do business logos, or if you have your own unique design that you'd like, we can take a look at it and see if we can't get that made for you. These are cool. Let's look at some of the other items you have here. Of course. Um, everyone loves flashlights, and if you have someone who's an auto enthusiast, they like to work on their own stuff, there's always a need for light. Great so stocking stuff for idea too, right? Exactly. So these guys are magnetized on the bottom, so they'll hook onto anything. They've also got a hook on the back, so if you don't have anything metallic to hook onto, you can hang it. I've got an emergency flasher on the back of this guy, and I've got two really bright lights. So I've got one for a shop light, and the second for a flashlight there. So these are excellent. The guys in the shop like them. They put them all over the vehicles. They're adjustable, so you can get just the right angle of your light on these guys. Put one of those on the gift list for me. <laughs> Of course, with the iPhones, this is a really cool thing to give. Again, a great idea for a gift for the holidays. Sure. So this is an impact-resistant case right here with its own external battery. So this guy has a 2,000 or a 200 lumen light on it. So super bright, ridiculously brighter than your little cell phone light that you have right now. And it's not going to drain that battery of your phone. So you can use these guys. As I say right here, these things I think are supposed to be 12 times brighter than the light that's actually on your phone. I imagine that at these concerts where people hold up their <laughs> phones, this would be the one that would stand out Yeah, it's crowd. got a flasher mode too, so you can be the guy out there with that. Well, this looks like a great gift as well, a multi-tool. Except this is a new version of that. Right, so this is a fun one. It's a stainless steel multi-tool here, so you'll have your pliers, your knife, your all those simple little tools you're used to there on this guy. It's got a carabiner, so you can clip them right on your belt or onto your keys. Also comes in a waterproof case. So people have bought this thing just for the case. This case is great. You can put a little cash, your cards, your keys in there when you're on the water, keep everything dry, and have no worries about it. Well, one of my favorite things to give a custom truck accessories is the gift card. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I think we just got photobombed. Right, so gift cards are a great idea for that person <laughs> that you just want to help out, get started, that may be a little too particular. So you can get them 
their hand on whatever they want to get themselves. And for any size budget as well. Exactly. We can get these in all kinds of ranges. Well, let's take a look at some other items. All right. These are some of the greatest gifts I've ever seen, especially for the person that travels with their firearms. Exactly. So this is a uh, mountable safe. So this safe will actually mount in the vehicle anywhere you'd like. So it's got a couple different locking options on this guy. So the first twist here removes the actual safe from the mount. So that'll remove it from the mount. And then the second twist here opens you up to reach it. So you can take it with you wherever you go. And then when you're done with it, you've got it back in your vehicle, lock it back into place, all secure. Anyone traveling with a firearm should have one of those. I'm sure they come in a variety of sizes. Yep, we get different sizes of those guys. This might be the coolest gift anyone would ever give. I've never even seen one of these, Caleb, a hitch safe. Right, so this basically turns your two inch receiver into a little miniature safe. So you go ahead and open that guy up right there. It's got plenty of room for credit cards, your keys, a little bit of cash, something you wanna keep safe and st stored away. This is a great idea for someone who's having their vehicle picked up by a friend somewhere else, way more secure than, you know, putting your keys in the gas cap or underneath the fender or something like that. Well, also it, great if you're going to be out on the water or out somewhere where you don't want your keys on you, you can keep them secure and safe in that vehicle. This might be my favorite backup camera I've ever seen because how hard is it sometimes to line up your hitch with your toy? I know. So this one's great. The Swift Hitch is a great idea. What this does is this is a magnetic based camera and it's wireless. So you can use this on multiple vehicles and you can put this camera wherever you need it and it comes with this little handy held, handheld screen here so you can see exactly where you're at. So someone who has multiple uh, hookups, multiple vehicles, one camera solution. Absolutely one of the greatest gift ideas you'll ever give somebody. They won't even see it coming. I understand that you've actually used this tool that some, one of your friends was stuck in a rut and this is a recovery utility tool. Got them out. Yeah, so this is a small collapsible shovel. Uh, what happened to my buddy, he's had a very, very low, low Mercedes. So he got a flat tire, pulled off the road, and he got off the road, there was no way to get a jack underneath his vehicle. Wow. So pulled out the shovel, dug out from underneath the tire, actually excavated out so we could swap that out for him. Caleb, I think this time of the year, everybody should have one of these, but especially if you're a hunter, I can't imagine being out in the wilderness without one. Exactly. So this is this is a speedy puncture kit. So this is something that'll get you back on the road, back out of the dirt, and back to somewhere where you can actually get that tire changed out. Super simple, easy to use, We've used them ourselves. Should be carried all year round. These are really cool, and I understand that you can do some custom colors on these as well. Right. So these are the jerry cans. These are the actual steel ones. So you'll see a lot of plastic. These are the old school version. These are real fun. Caleb, a lot of these gift ideas are really important things also that if you know somebody that doesn't have one, what a great gift, and you could save somebody's life with something like the Gladiator Cargo Net. Gladiator Cargo Nets are awesome. So this is a heavy-duty cargo net. Come in various sizes, various webs, all that kind of stuff like that. Now these guys are rated to actually hold serious weight and secure serious cargo. So not like your typical little spider web. These guys come with multiple wow. grommets for tying down. They come with some latches on them as well, so you can secure yourself. And this is a heavy duty fiber, so you go ahead and feel that oh, thing. Oh yeah, this, is, this isn't going anywhere. That is strong. Yeah, They've, uh, the guys over in uh, Afghanistan actually have rigged them up as hammocks. <laughs> they sleep in them, so we've got shots of guys doing that and everything and holding all sorts of concrete and stuff in them. Super strong, super tough. Excellent if you got someone who's securing cargo grade. I was going to say, the they show right on their picture here of what happens if something flies out of the back of your truck and having to live with that on your conscience is not Exactly, much better anyway. to have a net and hold everything mm -hmm. down. Exactly. There's some other great items here from Smitty Bolt. This is rapidly becoming one of my favorite things, and you have a lot of it. So great gift ideas. Tell me about what we're looking at yeah, here. Yeah, Smitty Bolt's a lot of fun. So they have a lot of stuff that's out there for the trail. You got stuff like your trail machete. If you're out there and you need a hack brush and stuff like that to get that out of your way of your vehicle, uh, the tactical knife. So that's just a nice knife to have on there, and they just added that in there. This guy here <laughs> is a lot of fun. This cracks me up. You really got to tell us about this. So this is the trail axe. Now this guy comes, you know, you see it here, it looks like just a standard axe, not a big deal. But what this guy actually does is he's got a compass in the base, and this is hollow inside here. So you have a compass in here. It's going to have fishing line and hooks that you can secure inside of this guy as well. Fishing hook. So yeah. go out. Cut your way up to the river and then use this to fish with. Yeah, needle and thread if you have to sew anything up while you're out there. Uh, they also got this guy here for tightening down uh, lugs and such, and this guy here for your D-rings. So you can use it to crank stuff down. You got a piercing end here, your chopping end here, and of course your storage end here. 
This looks like a real survivalist tool. I mean, it really, is. you can go out there and even fish with it if you're out stuck somewhere. They're fun. Pretty much all the guys in the shop have one of these in their truck. That's fantastic. Tell down, me about the bat. Okay, so this down here is what they label as a self-defense flashlight. So it's a 200 lumen light, comes in various modes. So this guy will strobe or a constant. And it's also got a good sturdy handle on there and impact rated. Just fantastic gifts to give. And useful tools as well. Yeah, great for stockings, great to hang on there. You know, you don't need to hang a stocking on your mantle, you can just hang a trail axe. Well, this must be the web style cargo protector you were talking about. Yeah, so this is the bed web. This is a more of a stretchy bed web here. So this guy secures light duty cargo, stuff like sports equipment, kayaks, things like that. So if you don't have something that's as heavy duty that require a gladiator net, this is a great solution right there. I love the billet fuel doors and you have them for all different Model all different years. makes and models, trucks and cars. So that's everything we do in both in billet and in black. And they have a lock on them as well. Yeah, and they're locking. So that's great. So you can secure your stuff as well. So you don't have to worry about anyone getting your fuel. This is really cool. I mean, you talk about people that go out and they camp with their motor homes and leveling can be such a bear, a burden. It but really can. This makes it really simple. So this is easy. So these are the camper levelers and they come with their chalk. So you just roll up right up on it and this will help you level you out. So you just roll your tire into this guy. When you get to your level section, you just slide that chalk in and you're good to go. Oh, it sounds so easy. And you know, you've got people that uh, would love to have these in their Christmas gift or holiday gift. Yeah, so when there's RVing and out there, you're, you're gonna want one of those They're guys. ready to go in the springtime. This is really one of the coolest things. I mean, this looks like a boat cleat, but this is really made for trucks. It is. And the great thing about these guys is that they're removable and you can adjust them anywhere on your bed rail. So this guy's gonna mount underneath the bed rail, give you that cargo tie down wherever, whenever you need it. This is really a, a great thing to be able to use with these bed webs and Yeah, you and can cargo put your cargo seat on, secure any of your webs to it. This is proof that you have to come in here regularly. There's always something new here at Custom Truck Accessories. I've never even heard of it. Tell me what a onegy bungee is. All right. So but I like the name. Yeah, it's a fun name. So we're just talking about securing cargo, and I can't talk about securing cargo without talking about the onegy bungee. Now, this is us supporting another local business. This is made by a guy right here in town. The idea behind this guy is you always have a bunch of different lengths of bungee cords, and that's just a pain in the butt. And you but never the, have the right size with you, never, you when yeah, you need it. you never do. So this guy here, you can actually pull him out, adjust them out to a longer length, tie them back in, and you now got a different length rope. So That's you can tie why down- That's they call it a 1G bungee. You yep, only so you can tie it down them. any length. I'm certain of one thing. There's a lot of people right now going, oh my gosh, I had no idea that was such a great place to shop for my holiday gifts. Where can they find you? You can find us here in Reno at 385 Kitski Lane and give us a call at 775-329-5111. We're also out on South Carson Street you give them a ring out there at 885-8111. That's Caleb Parker, Custom Truck and Accessories right here in Reno. Thank you so much for joining us. Always fun to be here, Mitch. Happy holidays, everyone. For more information on this guest or to see this show in its entirety, visit nvbusinesschronicles.com. While you're there, you can watch all of our past shows on the Chronicles page and stay connected with us by following us on our social media. For information on becoming a guest on our show, contact us at info at nvbusinesschronicles.com. We hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week at the same time for more from Nevada Business Chronicles.